Hi, my name is Dana Dabous. I'm a researcher at the EDGE Foundation and I'll be answering a few questions about the R Plan for IFE report. The EDGE Foundation internally commissioned this report to review the key issues and debates across the further education sector in the hopes of driving change within the sector and influencing policy reform based on strong evidence. We have always been a strong supporter of the further education sector and we hope that this report will showcase the uniqueness of the further education sector. The methods used in preparing for this report include collecting research that has been conducted across the further education sector and identifying key issues, such as the staff recruitment and retention crisis, the decreased funding for the sector, and the constant policy changes that have occurred over time. We also highlight the uh, unique characteristics of the sector, such as showing how FE providers employ industry-trained professionals and how the sector itself promotes social mobility. We then called on academics and FE providers themselves to discuss these issues and discuss some of the characteristics they believe are unique to the sector. We also tried and showcased colleges that we have worked with in the past um, to illustrate the good practices that we have witnessed over time. I would say the key takeaways of this report are it's time for us to pay much more attention to further education. Much more funding and steady policy are needed for the sector. Um, we need to stop comparing further education to higher education. The sector itself needs to clarify and dictate its own future and in doing so it should use the, its uniqueness and the characteristics that we have identified in this report in defining its future and it needs to address these recurring challenges and debates that we mention in the report. And as we show, all these issues are interconnected. The EDGE Foundation has three recommendations for the future of the further education sector. First, we encourage the FE sector to become more defined in its purpose, with individual FE providers defining their identity and missions within this. Second, we recommend that the FE sector continue being skills and careers focused by developing close links with industries to ensure that providers are addressing the skills shortages across the UK labour market. And finally, we encourage the FE sector to become more collaborative wherever possible, both within itself and other institutions, by sharing best practice. At EDGE, we hope to continue supporting the FE sector wherever possible in their future. There will be opportunities to discuss this report in the future. We're hoping to hold a virtual discussion about the report. And in light of the current situation, we are very keen to hear how COVID-19 has impacted the future of FE. We believe that we should all be coming together to address the effects of this pandemic.